Yo, sup boys, girls, and whoever is out there, you know, CDHB Sage here, join with a really good friend to discuss uh, some topics. Can I introduce you to folks? O'Keefe in the house, thanks for having me on the channel, and this might be on my second channel, so we'll see. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be talking about, like, some Marvel stuff again, probably like, like, I know CDH wants to talk about some downplay that's been going around with some other verses too. Like, once you, what's something you want to bring up? Like, like when people like, like I feel like when people like get nitpicky and stuff. It like hurts the channel and representation. Now I'm not gonna name them because I don't do that. But there was like yeah. this one versus show I saw. It it had a good idea, you know. I was like, okay, cool. I wonder who wins. And he then takes someone's transformations into account. Yeah, it's kind of like a nitpicky situation. Like, right. It's not like, even like throwing any shade. It's just like, it's just it, like it seems like very nitpicky in order to make someone else win. I don't know. You know, it's just like wow. And then this same person did another fight and brung up. Well, there's two scenarios, and I was like, dude, just pick one consistent scenario and just like. Go with it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, what's like, up, Phoenix? What's up, Phoenix? Wait, wait, what's the what? Wait, what's this about and stuff? I oh, was just talking about like how people nitpick characters and like downplay and stuff. Like. What? I, yeah, I know. we talking about how like people nitpick different things just to try to make like certain characters win and stuff, you know? But yeah, it's kind of like it, how it, Batman it, is usually nitpick. As like they nitpick like his his like high end feats of like or wank of how he he fights people that damage the Justice League, even though like consistently he he constantly needs prep time, which contradicts this fact. Like like in the rebirth or post crisis, I believe he needed to make a suit to the Justice Buster to to beat um the the beat the the JLA. And the JLA was stated to be much weaker when they had the Joker Venom on. And so a weaker version of the JLA forced Batman to use prep time. So why would he scale to a actual JLA? <laughs> I know. Like, like, yeah. And then like they also do this. Back. Uh, you you want to... like the downplay. I just don't like the downplay on like Marvel, people say, well, it's debatable whether there's any high outers. Like, dude, like the one above all himself views other outer versal characters as fiction, literally. Like, he's he literally views outer versal characters as fiction. He created the entire Marvel, everything in Marvel comics, which includes outer versal realms, which includes characters like Oblivion, all that kind of stuff. Like, Wait, and then, like, mean, then if you go off the new cosmology, like, dude, like the new, like the new iteration of eternity embodies like the far shore, which is outer versal realm beyond the super flow, which is the highest plane of existence where concepts, true forms, and imaginations exist. It's like, wow, okay, like, eternity. Wait, la really, it's just sad when people like downplay Marvel, it's, it's, and it's real sad when they say they're only like hyperversal. Wait, do you yeah, think there are. are Wait, what do you think for like consistency for like um Sonic and stuff? Because a lot of people put him like a, a, a very a various amount of tiers and levels. Like, what do you think is the best consistency for like here, his base here, here's and me. super form? Here's me right here. In the base form, he has a lot of solar to multi solar feats, but he also has enough consistency for Universal Plus as well. I would say right now. I myself would more than likely put Base Sonic at Universal Plus as of right now, because I, I 
I made that base for now I would be okay with someone saying solar system that actually would be okay with me because that's actually acknowledging that there that there's feats are there and they're not downplaying to like city level like but I would right now because I found more universal feats I would say universal plus consistency and like because you have stuff like base sonic surviving time eater destroying a space time continuum while he was heavily suppressed and then, like, yeah, it requires supersonic to beat Time Eater, but Base Sonic still survived the destruction of that time space. And then, like, that was scaled to his attack power because he fights, you know. And then he he beat a Razor Dijin who was manipulating one of the universes in the Arabian Nights reality. He defeat the Ifrit Golem who was about to burn one of the universes down in the Arabian Nights reality. Then he, you know, fought Infinite, who literally casually created Null Space, which is described as being an uh, a prison that goes on forever in a separate space of nothingness. So that's right. That all the universal plus, and there's more than that, but like I would say, and then supersonic, he varies from low multi up to multiversal. So he's, but like people would down play Solaris and say, well, they need three hedgehogs. Guess what though? Solaris is an entity that exists simultaneously in multiple timelines. He's a transcendent being. It's so yes, that means each super hedgehog was fighting the same full powered Solaris in each timeline. They had to go back. That's why Sonic needed them. It's actually verbatim stated in the guidebook for that game, too, that Super Sonic on his own is powerful enough to beat Solaris. He just needed the other two hedgehogs because obviously Super Sonic can't simultaneously be everywhere at once. So, so. it's actually, yeah. I, I would like to yeah. ask you again another pre question, Mr. Co O'Keefe. That like um, uh, that what's the most consistent speed you have Sonic at? Like some people put him at immeasurable speed because in classic Sonic he run back in time. I would argue that. Like I would say because here's the thing. Like classic did it a lot. Modern Sonic can accelerate through time, and he he actually ran so fast, he made time start moving again. And he actually and guess and like in his base form, he even dodged attacks from the Time Eater, who's fast enough to move through time. But to be honest, if you don't go with that, like that's concrete. But the thing is, he also has infinite speed, like as well, which is I would say would be more of a middle ground, like. There's there's FTL, there's immeasurable, and there's infinite speed feeds. I would say like a middle ground would be infinite because like he crossed a razor degen. There's in in a razor degen stronghold. There's a space that's confirmed in the official data book, God book, to be infinite space. And Sonic crosses infinite distance in a finite time with no effort. So that'd be infinite speed. So I'll say like in a mid, a middleman type of thing. Like an, if you want to meet in the middle, I would say maybe infinite. To be honest, like. But I wouldn't necessarily, I wouldn't disregard immeasurable though, for real. Like, and like Darkspawn Sonic, you know, he's easily multiversal because he casually recreated the Arabian Nights reality, which contains at least 1,001 pages That's in each universe. So. Wait, can, wait, can you like get um discuss that matter for the whole um Arabian Nights book? Because a lot of people say because it's in a book, like the universes are like much smaller. Well, yeah, again, like, they would have to, well, for one, the people that made that claim, they would have to prove they would be much smaller. There's no reason to suggest, not to mention, there's more reason to believe they're more, they are the real size of a unit. We actually, we actually see, like, countless stars in these pages, and not to mention, I just mentioned how there's an, an infinite space in the Arabian Nights reality as well, so there's, they would have to, the people who claim that would have to like provide evidence to say that like the people who say it's only star level, that's their own head cannon. They would have to provide the claim. It would have to provide the evidence, you know? So yeah. the downplay is real, bro, but Sonic deserves justice. You know, every character deserves it, but like consistently he has low multi to multiversal feats as supersonic, like defeating time eater, Defeating Solaris, I mean, the egg, you know, wizard. I, I, I mean, like, surprisingly, like, Gambit hasn't gotten a lot of, like, respect and, like, justice. He's, like, underrated. Gambit from X-Men? Um, yeah, Gambit from Marvel X-Men. Oh, yeah. He's oh, a monster, my bro. Fault. 
He is a monster, like, truly. Like, you realize that his full potential, he's like Universal Plus, where his full, his full potential is unlocked. That's insane. Yeah, that oh, was yeah. The, yeah, that was in the what if storyline. If he, he, if he didn't have that suppressed chip in his brain and stuff, what his power would really be like if he didn't suppress him. Yeah, it's kind of like Cable. If he wasn't always suppressed, he'd be able to fight like people like Silver Surfer. Cable would. So he'd be like Universal Plus as well. Like he, when he was going all out. Yeah. yeah. That's another. People underestimate the X Men. But like, even normally, like, his kinetic energy easily has like country, even continent level scale, calcs and shit. Like, you know, island, even at the very least. And like speed, he's easily relativistic to FTL. Obviously. Yeah, and also like for hacks, he has like pretty good hacks. Like he he has like stuff like how Shigaragi from like um from from like um my hero has the whole like decaying ability. He has something similar, but it's like different. He can like cause explosions within cards and stuff or objects. Yeah, and like. He's also a very skillful. He's very skillful with the bow staff as well. Very skillful. Yeah, and like he, he can, he doesn't need he he doesn't rely much on like um, on arsenal of ammunition because he just has to throw anything, and it it will become a bomb because he infuses yeah. the explosive energy within the bomb. That's why he throws cards and stuff. <laughs> Like regular playing cards, and they still work. I know it disappointed me when like they didn't have that much of him in X Men Origins Wolverine. I was disappointed. Like they didn't have much. You see that movie? That was that sucked. They didn't have much of my boy in that movie Gambit. He had barely any screen time. Yeah, I, yeah, know. I guess they they wanted to cop him out though. Cause well, yeah, cause it is a Wolverine origin, but still, like Gambit is the goat. I mean. He he's been with Rogue too. Him and Rogue had a thing, you know, in the it's TV show, like the X Men cartoon show, too, in the nineties. Too bad they can't actually yeah. have a baby because he he's just gonna get absorbed and then die and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. What about Rogue scaling? Like, how strong is Rogue consistently without like zapping people and stuff? Fish did a video on that. I'm pretty sure like he Rogue. did. Like, here's the thing. If you use her after she absorbed it during the time she had Miss Marvel's power, you know, and you could get her to like multi continent level, be honest with you. Because that's the old, but she, she that's old school Miss Marvel who scales to Tony's weaker suits, which is like who has like multi continent. So, Rogue, even Lowball is like multi continent with that power. But she can also, it also depends though. She was able to like, she has limits too though. Like, I think she was unable to mess with Juggernaut at one point. Um, it yeah, was too yeah. much. Yeah, because like the cigarette, the the gem of ci cigarette or whatever it's called, cigarette. Yeah, Cidarac. Yeah. Cidarac was too much for her. like she can take like at least ten percent at most, but then like it, it it's too much for her. Like Cidarac is too evil to uh, for her, and it makes her like evil and and messes with her mind. Right, and by the way, it's magic and not really makes you a mutant. It's like magical. So technically, Jogana is not really a mutant. Um, he, yeah, like he's he he's like a normal human who has a uh who gets magic a magic boost from an interdimensional demon from another plane of reality. Not gonna yeah, lie. Cinderic. Jogo nuts yeah, and Chad. It is possible for people to bribe and make a deal with Sidorak and take away Juggernaut's powers and give it to someone more worthy. Look at Colossus, you know. Yeah, the, the like, X -Men, unstoppable Colossus. The the X Men like were able to convince some um, Sidorak to give it to a much more better host, which was Colossus. Yeah. You know another thing I I just like don't like when people do like like besides like being nitpicky and biased 
is like not caring about what you read. Because if people are telling you there are new stuff, you'd be like, well, I don't care. It's my thing. I can do whatever you want. You're not improving. You're not improving as somebody who is comparing these characters. You're showing that you don't care and you're not going to give the proper justice that some of these characters deserve. Like, I'm not calling anyone out on that because, like, it, like, yeah. characters, like, if you're just going to be like, I don't care, you're not giving characters justice. You're not giving them what they can fully do. Yes, like, yeah. There's a difference between, like, not knowing and not thinking it wasn't consistent to you and then you understand that it is consistent to like be like well i don't care you know it's still gonna be the same yeah we're not I'm giving the it. justice that the consistency shows another person i would like to say for like the underrated part would in marvel would be like reed richards and then, oh, Reed um, Richards. Uh, and before he's... anybody says, like, he's not underrated, yeah, he is kind of underrated, though. He's not well, much well-known, un like, unless you, like, read a lot of, like, the ex the Fantastic Four. But I thought he honest, was, like, Most people who read the Fantastic Four just think of the other characters, like the Thing or, like, Human Torch, and just think Reed is just a smart guy in the corner. Even though he has like a ton of feats that show he's like the smartest in Marvel. Yeah. Like not to close. mention he's like like Galactus holds Reed in high regards, bro. That's saying something. Like Galactus himself finds Reed to be a worthy human being. And even people who are comparable to Reed, like Victor Victor Stone or like um Victor Von uh, Doom. Um Victor Von Doom. Yeah, not 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 cyborg I need to <laughs> We're um, fine. Vic we go what you mean. Uh, Vic Victor Stone, I mean Victor Doom, Victor Von Doom, Doom uh, w was comparable. He's comparable to um Reed Richards, and like Victor was able was so was so smart that like Thanos kept him on tabs and stuff, wanting to watch his every move. Okay. And even and even like in the past, like the classic comics, I'm pretty sure Reed made a ton of time machines before. And he yeah. even has like yeah. a, a device that can that can send go well, send people into another dimension depending on their intellect. If they're inferior to to him in intellect, then they're then they're like um they get like be a part into a into a, like a endless pocket dimension. People sleep on unrestricted Ghost Rider too, and Zarathos, they though. They do. do. They, they do, really like, do. Like, I'll break down, like, for real, like, they don't realize he beat it, Mephisto it, in his own realm, guess where he's at his strongest. Like, wait, Mephisto wait. stalemated an average fed Galactus who's above Odin who performs multiversal plus feats, like, wait, nullifying wait, a fire and stuff like that, wait, tearing wait, through the it, multiverse. It, it, is it because of how, like, it, like um, restricted Ghost Rider keeps getting knocked around each time. Like he's he's getting. It may seem like he's getting bodied until Therathos comes out. Yeah, but that see people down use like Johnny Blaze restricted Ghost Rider to downplay him. But even then, like it took World War Hulk to actually knock him out. Anyways, to like to make the dude come out, make unrestricted. And once, oh man, once Johnny Blaze lost control, Doctor Strange was freaked out, bro. He's like. Wow, he's boundless, you know what I'm saying? God, like, and it's even said, you know, he even has, like, type 8 immortality. Like, as long and as God exists, it's like, you can't even kill a Ghost Rider. And also, like, it's it also, like, uh, Dr. Strange says, like, if Therathos wanted to, he, he could have ended, he could have ended Hulk a long time ago. Quickly. Yeah. Yeah, and, and unrestricted Ghost Riders also just dominated Dr. Strange as well, so... And yeah. mind yeah, you, he's been that him. at like one point, you know, Ghost Rider was like being so popular that that dude was kind of powerful, like, soul and all the Avengers, you know, even like 
dragging around like Thor and stuff when you got that transformation. And Hulk, I was like, oh, damn. And even in the cartoons, he one shot at Galactus. Yeah. And even, and even in the cartoons, like uh, Ghost Rider took hits from the Hulk and actually launched them back with just one fireball and stuff. And. And also, like, Ghost Rider, yeah, he's killed, um, killed Doctor Strange before. And, like, this was just restricted Ghost Rider, like Johnny Blaze and stuff. He, he didn't go all out. Uh, he, he was just restricted, and he just pen of stare and kill him. And remember, the pen of stare still works on, like, almost anybody. No matter the sin, as long as they sinned, it still works. Even people right. like it. Even like a, a, a normal human abusing their wife, th th that is still a sin, and he, they, so they still burn to it. And Doctor Strange still burns to his sins, despite being a good guy. And I know people are going to bring this out and stuff, and say, well, didn't the Punisher survive it? And I'll tell you that that's not really consistent, because it has work on other people even when they don't feel regret yeah, it's actually anymore. worked on the Punisher before or after that story too like that's funny right and that was the right. Danny that was the Danny version of like Ghost Rider like the host was Danny something Danny Kex I believe or no yeah something like Danny Kex something like it wasn't Johnny Blaze yeah yeah it was Danny Kex and stuff also, another thing, like, um, to mention, was that, like, the, the penance there, like, it, it was able to affect Deadpool, Deadpool of all people, which even, con which contradicts the whole Punisher, like, um, surviving it, because Deadpool is a guy who doesn't care about the people he kills, he, he doesn't regret what he's done, and yet he's still, he's still affected by it, sure, he survived, but, like, it's still well, it was stated, stated too, too. Punisher... Yeah. Like, Ghost Rider wasn't fully trying to do, like, do it on him to the full extent. He just wanted to do it, like, do a little bit to make him feel, make him feel it, too. Yeah. Like, one more thing I want to say before we really go is, like, Pot Rangers get downplayed, too. Like, the, yeah, people don't realize right. the Morphin Grid is, like, more than likely an outer versatile structure. Like, right. And, like, and I'm actually working on a Tommy Oliver video, like, right now, and, like, he's insane, dude. Like, even in his base form, he absorbs his power, all his ranger's power. He, he's literally, a, he becomes like outer versal in his base. I'm going to be going over this in my video, even more detail. And even then, you there you can, even then, like the Power Rangers, like um, pretty much all of them have incredible low-end feats of having like planetary ranges to even higher ranges of universal levels to like mid and low-end feats. To, yeah. to have them at that even level. complex multiversal stuff but like yeah the yeah. thing is there's a lot of good 1a arguments like outer versal arguments especially for like the top like the tier top, like lord draken tommy, tommy like Z yeah. zordon all of them yeah draken was going yeah. draken in the comics actually was able to hack up and wreck up the the morphing grid and stuff he actually screwed over with the morphing grid and Tommy's the beat him in like base form. He didn't even transform. Cause Tommy is the goat. He's like, yeah. he's like, he's a prodigy. Okay, he's actually incredible. Like it's actually funny to say like base Tommy could solo Dragon Ball Super, bro. And and mind you that he did take on other mantles of Rangers as well, yeah. like. So much experience, so much skill. It's insane. And like, let's not forget yeah, that, like, um, they, they face uh, the Power Rangers casually face it, um, monsters with trillions, of, like not trillions. I mean, thousands of years of of combat experience on their belt. Like um, Rita, Rita had like thousands of years of combat experience, and yet the Rangers easily beat her. And there's Same several other like, people with scale. Same with like even in more early, dead. yeah, even in early days, like unmorphed Tommy after right after losing his green Power Ranger powers, literally rotted Godar. Remember that? Who's comparable to Rito Revolta, who has that who tanked crashing into the moon, which is almost country level. 
So even like back in the early days, you have like large island, the country level, unmorphed rangers early, early on. Dude. Yeah, and this is like, mind you, this is like first like couple seasons of like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers early yeah, on. Really and let's not they, forget like other characters like Lord, like um Troy from like a uh, Power Rangers Mega Force, who Tommy it should be scaling way above him. Like, um, uh, Troy, in his base form, was able to, like, beat, um, Robo Knight, who, Robo Knight soloed the Power Rangers, like, Power Ranger forms, casually, and Troy, in human form, with his dragon sword, like, overpowered Robo Knight with, like, one slash, and, like, Tommy scales above that as well. Yeah, Tommy's like, hold my beard, Troy. Yeah, I mean, Power let me Rangers. Get your sword. Let, me let me take that sword off your hands, pimp. I'll show you how it's really done. That's what he. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tommy's a monster. Yeah, it, like even like weaker Rangers, you know, who don't really fully scale to that stuff, they still have really good feats. Like yeah, yeah. Mega Force has shown they they can use utilize um previous Rangers' abilities and possibly even their stats as well. Yeah, and I think you even in the Morphin Grid, you might be able to be strong as previous ranges. I don't know about that, but like. No, granted, the the ranger that used the 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 ranger that used this was a different white ranger, and it wasn't Tommy. It was this like weird alien guy from like another planet. Yeah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I think we could probably agree it's more likely. Tommy is the most powerful ranger of all time. Yeah, yeah I mean, is. there are a couple others. You can argue, like, yeah. Behind them, but I overall, would... Overall, yeah. I would say Tommy overall, yeah. yeah all same. that being said, I think that's enough said. I think we pretty much got the point across for the justice of Sonic in this a little bit, you know, a little bit of Power Ranger. I think people might... Maybe this is, maybe this get people thinking, you know. We hope y'all enjoy this little collab discussion. We'll bring you more in the future, all right? Enjoy. And and before Peace. I go, don't be neck picky. Don't be biased. Try really hard to not do that. Open and mindedness also, is really amazing. Give characters more justice than they deserve. Consistent justice. Consistent yeah. justice too. And peace out, folks. <laughs>